basement, indeed. If they were half as devious as they claimed to be, they would have sent me an accomplished accomplice instead of Kay Bennett. She may be bad to the bone instinctively, but that's hardly enough to make her useful to me. <laughs> Besides, she's a royal pain in the... <clears throat> How do I look? Utterly ridiculous. It's way past Halloween, dear. Well, if I'm going to learn how to be a proper witch, don't I at least get to dress like one? Real witches don't dress up in costumes with pointy hats. Have you ever seen me in a crazy outfit? No comment. So, when do I get my evil powers? <laughs> Aren't you the demanding little brat? Are you going to stop picking on me? Or what? Because I did you a monster favor by not writing you out to my family, even though it meant letting David and Ivy go scot-free. And in return, you are supposed to show me how to get what I want. Miguel and my evil powers. And right now, I want my evil powers. The horrible woman who did those terrible things to Liz? You know her? Yes. I do, and I'm going to tell you exactly who she is. My God, I can't believe it. Eve is really going to tell. Sweetheart, how could you possibly know a despicable woman like that? I mean, do you really know who she is? Yes. Yes, I do. And I'm going to tell you everything that I know about her. Everything. Her cheek is almost up, you hateful girl. My visiting nurse is going to tell Luis that you want to murder me. And then I wonder just if he's really going to be wanting to spend the rest of his life with you then, huh? <laughs> I don't understand. Now, what is going on with Mrs. Wallace? Your mother told me some very alarming things about you and your relationship with her. Uh, like what? She told me you've been trying to kill her. Uh, Ivy, the days of having your way are over. I am gonna get rid of you for good this time. <gasps> what did you say? I said I am gonna get rid of you for good this time. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I would hold the hand of the one who could leave me places And kiss the lips of the one who could sing so sweet And I would fly on the wings of a bird I knew could take me high sister were young they were very close more like best friends than sisters and they did everything together any money any and my husband they went out we come from albuquerque and we sell apples <laughs> you'll always be my best friend liz mm -hmm. The only thing that they didn't have in common was Liz's sister's love of singing. She, she had dreams of being a successful recording star. And there were some people that said she had the talent, too. Well, their parents were very strict. And when they found out, they ordered Liz's sister to stop singing immediately. That's what drove her out of the house. She didn't take Liz with her because she didn't want to get her into trouble. But she did promise herself that someday when she was big in the music world that she would send for Liz and, and they would be together again. That's what
what she wanted more than anything. For Liz to be with her. She never stopped loving her. She loved her just as much as she did when they were kids, jumping rope together. Mrs. Wallace said that Beth was trying to kill her? More than once. And she's terrified that her daughter's going to try it again. I have never seen a patient so agitated. And she's desperate for somebody to help her. And there's more. It involves you, sir. Well, what else did she say? Mrs. Wallace claims that her daughter is trying to tear you away from another woman that you're in love with. She has a, an odd name. Um, it begins with an S. Sheridan. That's it. And Mrs. Wallace said that Beth has done terrible things in the past to try and tear it apart. And that she won't rest until she gets you to marry her instead. She's, she's not moving. Ivy. Ivy, can you hear me? Is she okay? She's breathing, but I can't seem to wake her. Call an ambulance. Maybe we should put her on the couch. No, we can't move her. We don't know if there are any broken bones. We better wait for the paramedics. Okay, um, I'll, I'll get a blanket. Uh, I'll get it for you. In the linen closet by the back stairs. Sam? She barely has a pulse. I knew you hated her. And I knew you were mad, but this is way over the line, okay? Even for you. Is you here? So, when do I get my evil powers? It's not like getting a black belt in karate, dear. The ability to create chaos and mayhem is something you earn over time by performing dust. There are a lot of things that I need to make happen. Mm, well, the first thing you've got to learn is patience. I'm sure the word is an anathema to you. But for one thing, we still aren't sure just how much innate supernatural power you were born with. As a standish female, obviously you've inherited some, but we have to develop it first and then work from there. Okay, well, how long is that gonna take? Because I need to get Miguel back, and I want revenge on my family. Mainly my mother. Oh, worthy goals, both of them, but they will take time to achieve. I've been working on some of my spells and curses for over 300 years. Just how old are you anyway, Tabitha? Let's just say I don't look my age. And yeah, my dad said you looked the same when he was a kid. Hey, did you know my father back then? Did you know when he was in love with Ivy? Oh, yes, indeed. As a matter of fact, I had quite a bit to do with that oh-so-tragic breakup back then. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, really. Haven't you figured it out yet, Kay? I'm behind every bad thing that's ever happened in this town, including all the current tragedies. Like Louise and Sheridan's problems, and Ethan and Teresa's problems. Not to mention the ongoing saga of your mother, your father, and Ivy. <laughs> oh, yes. It's my mission in life to destroy happiness. And now I'm glad to say it's going to be your mission as well. No, no, we can't wait a half an hour. Now, my, my mother could be dead before then. You actually think that I wanted Ivy to fall down the stairs? Yeah, of course I do. You know, I, I knew you had nerve, but to push her in a house full of people, including her two sons? What do you have running through your veins? Fox, I didn't push her, okay? I don't know how Teresa, she fell. It's not gonna wash, okay? We all heard you up there fighting. I didn't think it was a big deal until I heard my mother say, no, don't do it. And you yelled back at her. 
that you were going to get rid of her once and for all. Oh, my God. No, no, no. I didn't mean like this, okay? I just meant that, that I didn't want her to come back to the mansion and stay forever. Listen to me, Fox, please. You have to believe me. You're right, I don't like or trust your mother, but I would never hurt her physically. I, I set the lock on her wheelchair because she was so close to the stairs that I didn't want her to fall off. You say you set the brake lock? Yes, uh, just a minute before she fell. Okay, okay, look, that ought to be pretty easy to check out. Ivy. Ivy, come on, wake up. Ivy. What are you looking at? The brake lock. Teresa says she set the brake so that Ivy's chair can roll off on its own. Well, are the brakes on or off? Well, they're not set. Release lever's all the way up. Honey, I don't get it. If, if Liz's sister cared so much about her, then why didn't she send for her? And why did she send me back when I finally found her in that nightclub singing? It's complicated. By then, she had met someone. A man who frequented the club where she sang. That man changed her life. If you don't mind, we're having a private conversation. Oh, yes, of course. I'm merely here to disperse her. Okay, what is she telling them about us? The man was very wealthy, and he was used to getting everything that he wanted. He introduced Liz's sister to a world that she had never even known existed. It was very heady and exciting. And she didn't say no when he introduced her to drinking and drugs and sex. What about sex? Wasn't that a part of it? Yes, that was part of it, too. I wonder if my sister even loved this man. Oh, yes. Oh, she loved him so much at the time. She thought that she would spend the rest of her life with him. Eve, how, how do you know so much about him? Wait a minute, I know why you're upset. why it has to take so long for me to get my powers. It looks really easy for Samantha on Bewitched. <laughs> Timmy watched those reruns all the time. Bewitched was his favorite TV show. He even brought Dr. Bombay here for a couple of visits. Dr. Bombay was here? Yes. He stood right there where you are now. <sighs> That's cool. <laughs> um, hey, Tabitha, can you... Can you tell me something? Timmy wasn't really your great nephew, was he? He was a doll you created that came to life. Yes, that's true. That is how Timmy came into existence. But the dear lad made a fateful decision to become a human. That's what did him in, in the end. His need to love and be loved. Oh, I can't talk about him without crying. Okay. Uh, we'll talk about this. Tell me how you wiggle your nose and make something appear like Samantha did. <laughs> Would that I could, dear. But as you've gleaned by now, my powers are not what they once were. It's a long time since I wiggled my nose effectively. Can't you just try? Come on, wiggle your nose and pop me in a milkshake. <laughs> a waste of time, dear. Okay, well, if there's anything worse than being a witch, it's being a quitter witch. All right, all right. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Tabitha, look, it worked. It worked! <laughs> oh! <laughs> 
I'm sure I don't need to tell you how alarmed I am about your mother's accusations. I just... I don't know what to say. I can't believe your mother would say such things. I mean, especially in light of the way you take care of her all by yourself. Now, look, I've never seen a daughter more devoted to her mother than Beth is. Now, as far as this whole Sheridan thing, no one has been more supportive of us trying to work things out together than Beth. Look, uh, I'm afraid nothing that Mrs. Wallace has told you is true. I know what I am saying. That cute little tootsie there is hardly the girl that you think. It's time you know the whole truth. <sighs> Ivy, the pulse is still weak. Brakes were never set. No, I set the lock on the brakes myself so that she she wouldn't roll backwards. No, it must be loose or something. Nothing's loose, Teresa. But that's a brand new chair, okay? The wheel lock should have been working perfectly. And there's no way they came undone by themselves. But what are you saying? It seems fairly obvious. Someone must have released the lever. Well, it wasn't me. I wouldn't do something like that. Ethan, you believe me, don't you? Look, I, I, I don't have time for this. All right, I'm worried about my mother. Tell them, Fox. Tell them that, that you believe me. It was an accident. Okay, I swear it. And when Ivy comes to, she will vouch for me. Yes, yeah, sure, we were arguing, but I didn't push her. I wouldn't do something like that. You look guilty as hell, Teresa. But I am not. I didn't do anything wrong. But that's hard to buy, considering the fact that you were pretty upset at the fact that my mother took you up on that offer to move back to the mansion. I know. And Ivy knew that, too. That's what she was doing upstairs. She was gloating at the fact that I failed to show Ethan her true colors. You know, I was so sure that if Ethan could see how devious your mother was, that all she wanted to do was stay here and break up Sam and Grace, that he wouldn't be mad at me anymore. Don't tell me that this was just another one of your schemes to get my attention. What the hell is the matter with you, Teresa? figure out why you're so emotional over Liz's sister. I don't know what to say, T.C. Sweetheart, you are the most caring and sensitive person. I mean, for you to take on the pain that Liz and her sister must have went through, honey, it's no wonder that you're a wonderful doctor. It's no wonder that I love you. Why the hell is she confessing so much? Sweetheart, I'm sure that Liz appreciates you personalizing the situation, but honey, you can't take on everybody else's problems. TC, I'm not finished. Liz's sister's feelings were so blinded by this man that she completely lost her bearings. She began to drink more and more and she became dependent on the drugs that he'd introduced her to. When she realized that he wasn't going to marry her, much less spend the rest of his life with her, it pushed her over the edge. She panicked, and her addiction became even worse. She was alone and terrified, and she had no one to turn to. She could have come to me. Oh, no. She was too guilty and too ashamed of the mess that she had made of her life. So she resolved that if she was going to survive, that she had to be on her own. It was a very hard, long and lonely road, and she pulled herself together a day at a time and somehow managed to get her life back on track. But she never forgot her sister. She never stopped loving her. Never. And every day she has to live with the guilt of knowing that she failed both of them. So what happened to the guy? He was gone. For good. I mean, what kind of creep 
gets a woman hooked on drugs and alcohol and then just deserts them. People like that don't deserve to breathe the same air that we do. This low-life coward with money that was involved with Liz's sister, it's a good thing that I don't know him because I would take him out myself. But honey, I don't want to talk about this anymore. No, TC, I have to finish the story. I have to tell you the rest of the story. Liz's sister... Liz... Coach Russell, we've been looking all over for you. What's up, guys? Morrison failed his bio exam, and now the principal won't let him play in the tournament on Saturday. That's our store center. What are we going to do? I, I know. Uh, sweetheart, excuse me. Guys, please. If you'll excuse me. with this. I'm going to tell TC everything, including the fact that I'm your sister. Why risk it, Eve? I thought your marriage was so important to you. It is. TC means everything to me. But I have to strip you of your ammunition. You'll never be able to blackmail me again once TC knows the truth. Well, it sounds pretty risky to me. I may lose TC. I'm not going to lose him to you. I'm so tired of carrying this secret around this. I need for it to get out. Just let the chips fall where they may when it does. You did that on purpose. <laughs> on my dishonor. I didn't. I warned you I don't have all my powers. You just wait, Tabitha. Can you pull a stop like this again? I will tell everyone you're a witch. One word from me, and you're going to be burned at the stake. Oh, not again. You've already been through that? Several times. Any witch worth her salt's been torched by angry townsfolk at least once. I've still got singe marks on the soles of my feet centuries later. Well, you'll have much more than singe marks if I rat you out. Listen here, young lady. You can stop with the threats. If you and I are going to work together, then we better have a truce. I won't play any more tricks on you if you don't disclose my membership in the forces of darkness. Is that a deal? All right, deal. Even after all your lies and manipulations in the past, I honestly believe that you had learned your lesson. Ethan, wait, you don't understand what happened here tonight, okay? I was just trying to show you that breaking up Sam and Grace was more important to your mother than moving back to the mansion. So that's why you made your generous offer for her to come back home? Ethan, I was so sure that your mother would turn my offer down flat because she's gone to such lengths in the past to take your father away from Grace. Only she took you up on your offer. Okay? You were wrong about my mother. She was not here in this house to cause problems with Sam and Grace. The only thing you proved to me, Teresa, was that my mother wanted to come back home. Ethan, she only said yes because I had backed her into a corner. She wanted to stay here more than anything. Now, Grace knows that I'm right about her, don't no, you, Grace? No, do not bring my father's wife into your mess. Ethan, you need to see the kind of woman that your mother really is. Teresa, here's what I see. A cold, calculating manipulator to the bone. And you keep telling me that you've changed? Well, if you have, it is for the worse. Ethan, please. You stay away from me. You shouldn't be out of bed, Mrs. No, Wallace. No, Luis, Luis, you have to listen to me. You see, Beth wants you. Oh, she wants you so badly that she will do anything to make that happen. Even kill me, her own long-suffering mother. I told you. Look, I, I tried to tell you before, you know, about my daughter at, at the church and then at the hospital. You see, but they been, kept catching me and I couldn't get the words okay, out. Okay, right, just, 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 just calm down, okay? No, you, no, you don't need to get yourself all worked up. No, just, just, okay. Honey, honey, this is a matter of life and death. Maybe I should give her something to calm her down. No, no, not on, until, Luis, you have got to believe me here. I swear to you, I swear to you that my daughter, my daughter over there has been working overtime. 
trying to keep you and Sheridan from getting back, back together again. Oh, no more talk. Breathe deeply. Breathe deeply. This is going to have to be dealt with. I'm going to have to report this immediately. So how's this thing work anyway? I don't touch that, Kay. It's not a toy. I was just going to look at it. That bowl is extremely powerful in its own right. And it affects different beings in different ways. And you never want to go near it if I'm not close at hand to protect you. You're just telling me that to scare me. Oh, no, dear. I'm giving you the facts. And never, ever try and read the inscription on the inside of the bowl. Because if you do, <laughs> there's no telling what horrific things could happen. I'm warning you, Kay. Never try and read that inscription. Well, it looks like he's sick and tired of your holdover. My sister is not going to come clean to TC. She doesn't have the guts. I think you're wrong there, Liz. And frankly, I couldn't be happier. You've blackmailed your own sister into such a tight corner, she's got nothing to lose by telling her husband. Point of fact, you're gonna look just as bad as she does when she tells them what you've been doing. Do I look worried? No, but you should be. It's lousy enough that you threaten to bring her down by revealing the tragic mistakes of her youth. But to go after her own husband, that's... Yeah, it's possible that you may lose a family over this. But you're going to go right down with her. And you'll have no one but yourself to blame when it happens. I heard what you were telling TC. If you're out of your mind, he'll kill me if he finds out about our affair. There's nothing I can do about it, Julian. I'm being blackmailed. Ivy won't do a thing. No, no, it's not Ivy. It's Liz, my sister. What? Yes, Liz is my sister. And she hates me. Enough to tell TC what my life was like before I met him. So you're the supposedly treacherous sister that Liz has been going on about, yeah? That's the way she sees me. But I can't. Let her keep using this secret against me anymore. I've got to take matters into my own hands. Well, I understand your dilemma, but I do think you're being a trifle hasty. Julian, if you're worried about what TC will do, just leave the table before he comes back. Excellent idea. No, I, uh, I let you face the music by yourself all those years ago. That was unconscionable. I'll not run. I abandoned you this time. We'll do this together. No. Julian, when TC finds out, he's going to be furious, and he's going to blame it all on you. Yes, but if I'm not here, he'll take his anger out on you. If I stay, perhaps I can take a bit of the heat. Oh, I'm sorry, but it's my professional duty to report what your mother has said. This is very serious. It is over, little missy. You're going to be put away for attempted murder. I'm extremely concerned about your mother's mental state. I mean, clearly, she's under a great deal of stress and anxiety, no doubt due to her heart condition, but... Unfortunately, it's distorted her perception of reality. I mean, imagine thinking that your own daughter is trying to kill you. No. The poor dear. No, Mildred. 
this is true. I am, I, I'm, I'm not imagining anything. Now, yeah. Mrs. Wallace, there is nothing to be ashamed of. Oftentimes, patients just out of the hospital experience short episodes of delusion and paranoia. Oh. This is sure to pass in time. No, I couldn't make this stuff up. She's trying to kill me. Oh, on the contrary, your daughter is trying to help you. No. No, what you are experiencing is the subconscious fear that if your daughter marries this young man here, you will lose her as your wonderful caregiver. And that's why your mind has made up these terrible accusations. Oh. That makes sense. No, no, please, Louise, you have got to believe me here. My daughter is a cold hearted bitch. Uh, there, there, there is no need to use oh, such no. language. No, 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 she tried to kill me before, and she sure is like hell gonna try and kill me again now. Mrs. Wallace, Mrs. Wallace, just calm down. All right, look, you have nothing to worry about. Mrs. Wallace. But look, no matter what happens between me and Beth, she is not going to abandon you. I know that for a fact because of how much she loves you. I've never seen a more loving daughter. I just, I can't help it. I love her so much. Oh, you do not! You hate me! Mother, how can you say that? It just, it hurts me to hear her, her talk like that about me. Oh, don't worry, dear. Fears like your mother's really aren't all that uncommon. They're sure to pass in time. Please, please, somebody listen to me. I'm telling the truth, Louise. I am. I've got to go out and get some supplies. Of course. As soon as I have a chance, I'll stop by the hospital and pick up some medication for the paranoia. Oh, we... We would appreciate that. No, please, please, please don't go. She's trying to kill me. She's trying to kill me. Hey, right here. What's up? What happened? She fell down the stairs. I don't know if anything's broken. She, she'll be all right. All right. She, she's got to be okay. She's got no pulse. We're losing her. Get the paddles ready. All right. Check the pulse. I'll take a look at the rim. I appreciate the offer, Julian. I really do, but I think you're just asking for trouble. Now, I'm not going to mention your name. But there's a chance it could still get out. Does Liz know that I'm the man you were involved with back then? No, not that I know of, but she's very smart. And so is TC. So be it. If it comes out, it comes out. I'm not leaving you this time. Who are you, Julian? This is so unlike you. Now, I suppose. But if you remember, there was a part of me long ago that made you first fall in love with me. Perhaps I could be that man again. He's coming. Now you still have a chance to change your mind. I'll be right over here if you need me. So did you get everything handled? Yeah, I'll just get some kid to come off the bench and hope for the best. Sweetheart, I am so sorry for the interruption. No, that's okay. Honey, how do you know all this about Liz's sister? Hey, who is she and where is she? She's right here, TC. Good for you, Eve. She's doing it. Oh. Doesn't she have anything normal in here to eat? Whatever, I'm not really hungry anyway. I want to see what it says on the side of that bowl. Because if something really bad's going to happen to me, she just 
doesn't want me messing with her things. So I'll just take a quick little peek, and she'll never know. All whose gaze falls upon these words, beware. <laughs> Big deal. Tabitha probably etched that in here herself just to scare me. Oh, I was so close. I should go. I'll let you be alone with your mother so you can reassure her. But... No, 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 we'll talk about our future later. You're a wonderful daughter, okay? Now don't worry. Everything's gonna be okay. Miss Wallace? Huh? I'll see you soon, okay? Oh, no, please don't call Louise. No, please, it's, it's all right. Go. Mother, as Louise said, we could use a little quality time alone. Yeah. Um, <laughs> bye. Would you, Mother? I told you not to interfere with me and Louise. She had to shoot off your big fat mouth. Please, please don't, don't hurt me, Patsy Boo. Please don't hurt me. Hurt you? Oh, I don't think it's gonna hurt very much at all. Well, it just might hurt for a moment, but then you. You won't feel a thing. She, uh, she can't die. All right, don't let her die. Ethan, listen, calm down. They're doing everything they can. She's in VCAP. I'm charging the 200 watt seconds. Clear? Clear. Okay, no conversion. She's still in VCAP. Going to 300 watt seconds? She's gonna die. Clear. Clear. So help me God, Teresa. My mother dies in your hand. It is murder. And I will make you pay. I did not push your mother down those stairs. Oh my God. Am I dead? Get your hands off my wife. No. No, please. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me.